Mini Stories for PSEB Class 6 PDF Adapted and Modified by Kulwant Singh Sandhu 1. The Cracked Pot There was a water bearer in India. He had two large pots. Each pot hung on each end of a pole. He carried the pole on his shoulders. He delivered water to his master in these two pots. One of the pots had a crack in it, but the other pot was perfect. The cracked pot was always half filled, but the other pot had full water at the end of the long walk from the river to his master's house. For two years, this went on daily. The bearer delivered only one and a half pots full of water to his master's house. Of course, the perfect pot was proud of itself. It was perfect for what it was made. But the poor cracked pot was ashamed of its crack. It was sad that it could bring only half the water. After two years, one day, the cracked pot spoke to the water bearer. I'm ashamed of myself and I want to say sorry to you. The water bearer asked, Why, what are you ashamed of? The pot replied, For these past two years I delivered less water than the other pot because of this crack in my side. My water leaks out all the way back to your master's house. You don't get full value for your efforts because of my crack. The water bearer felt sorry for the old cracked pot. He said to the pot, Today when we return to the master's house, I want you to notice the beautiful flowers along the path. As they returned from the river, the cracked pot took notice of the sun warming the beautiful wild flowers on his side of the path. It was happy to see the beautiful flowers. But at the end of the path, it still felt bad because it had again leaked out half the water. It apologized to the water bearer for its fault. The bearer said to the pot, Did you notice that there were flowers only on your side of the path, there were no flowers on the other pot's side, I knew about your crack, I planted flower seeds on your side of the path, and every day while we walked back from the river, the leaked water fell on them, without you being just the way you are, we would not have seen these beautiful flowers. 2. I am happy with who I am. I often look into the mirror. And I like what I see. I see myself looking back at me. Showing the index finger. Saying no one can be like me. I'm unique, the mirror tells me. I'm precious, I matter. The world has a need of me. If I smile and make it better. Saying no one can be like me. Be confident says the mirror. Whatever you are, be happy. I believe in myself, my being. My size, my shape, my color. I'm happy with who I am. Three Rosie's meeting with Nessie. Rosie had come to visit her Aunt Tina in Scotland, which is in the north of the United Kingdom. Her aunt lived near the Loch Ness. Loch Ness is a deep lake. Rosie felt bored at her aunt's home. Aunt Tina, I want to go down to the lake, I'm feeling bored, she said. Her aunt said, sure, Rosie, you may, what will you do there? I will throw some stones into the water and watch the ripples, said Rosie. Don't go too near the lake, it is very deep and dangerous, said Aunt Tina. Rosie ran out of the door and then to the lake. She ran past a board that read, Loch Ness Home of the Famous Loch Ness Monster. Rosie read the board and smiled. Her parents had told her that there was no such thing. It was a myth. Rosie believed them. Reaching the lake shore, she looked around for some small stones that she could throw in the lake. She gathered a few and put them in her pocket after counting them. She looked for a nice spot to sit and found a big rock near the lake. She started throwing the stones as far as she could. Each stone said splash as it touched the water. She loved the sound of the water. And she enjoyed watching the round ripples. She enjoyed watching them going away slowly and then merging into water. She threw another stone. Splash came the sound. She loved the sound and the sight. She kept throwing stones one after the other. The water seemed very deep there. She threw another stone. Suddenly, she heard a sound, eeks, Rosie was surprised. 
Who's there? She said. No answer. She threw another stone. Eeks, stop throwing stones, said a voice. Rosie looked into the lake to see who it was. In the water, she saw a huge animal. It was like a dinosaur. It was green. It had small little horns. It was rubbing its head against the shore of the lake. Why are you throwing stones into the lake? It hurts, said the animal. Rosie looked at the creature with fear. Sorry, she said. Well, all right, said the animal. The animal looked at Rosie and saw her shocked face. I'm Nessie, said the huge creature. People call me the Loch Ness Monster, who are you? Rosie was a little afraid of this talking animal. She kept quiet. Nessie said, don't be scared, I don't harm anyone. She said, but you are so huge. Nessie said, don't think about my size, have I ever harmed anyone here? Okay, tell me your name, said Nessie. Nessie started laughing. Its laugh was very loud. Rosie looked at Nessie with fear. She could only see its head and long neck. It had triangular spikes on its neck. It had bits of plants hanging from its mouth. Rosie could see that it had sharp teeth and it could eat her in one bite if it wanted. But the plant in its mouth suggested that it was a herbivore. Rosie felt relaxed. Why do people call you a monster? Are you really a monster? Rosie asked. No, I am not a monster. People call me a monster because they do not know me. I belong to the dinosaur family. I only eat plants, not little girls, Nessie assured Rosie. Would you like a ride on my back? Rosie looked at Nessie. How big are you? She asked. Well, I'm more than 100 feet long. I've got humps on my back. I'm very thin. I have feet and arms too, but I use them only to swim and glide around the lake. Would you like a ride on my back around the lake? Nessie asked again. Rosie nodded. Climb on my back and hold on, said Nessie. Rosie caught onto Nessie's strong horns and found a place to sit on its back. She held tightly onto one of her spikes. Are you ready? Nessie asked her. Rosie was suddenly very excited. Yes, I am ready, Nessie, she said. Nessie started the journey through the lake. Soon they were swimming all around the lake. Rosie caught hold of Nessie tightly. Nessie went in and out of the water. Whoosh, said Nessie as it went into the water and wee as it came out. Rosie was also enjoying it. She said, this is fun. Would you like to see my cave? Nessie asked. I'd love to, but on another day. It's getting late. My aunt must be waiting for me. Rosie answered. Okay, then we will meet again. How long are you going to be here? Said Nessie. Another week, but tomorrow I am going to Edinburgh for sightseeing. Informed Rosie. Great then, we'll meet again the day after, said Nessie. Fine, please take me back to the lakeshore, Rosie said. Within no time, they were at the shore and said bye to each other. Now Rosie had a friend in Scotland. Life for Rosie was going to be exciting.